This is what I did in a panic last night, trying to cover my little trees from the frost that I found out about, uh, oh, I guess on the late news last night. But anyway, it either looks like a garage sale or a bad attempt at, at making scarecrows. But hey, I, I hope it helped. I hope it worked. So I didn't have any sheets, but I had lots of t-shirts. All right. Everybody looks happy. That's an Asian pear. This is an Asian pear. They're looking pretty, you know, bloomy. An apple. The other apple. The peach. Peach liked it. I'm pretty sure. I, I don't know. But the plum tree, I don't think fared so well uh, with the first freeze. Most of the leaves, or most of the blooms, seem to have died. But a whole bunch of new ones came out. We'll see how that fares out. And then my Charlie Brown fig tree, I don't think it's going to make it. I don't know, though. I don't know anything about trees. Well, another day begins. It's a late morning. It's about 11. I just finished another, yet another trip to Home Depot. I only went for a couple 2x4s, but I couldn't help myself. I got the materials for a workbench on the other side where the sink will eventually mount. And I got a bunch of fencing boards. Uh, they were pretty cheap, about a little over $2 a piece for a 6 footer, 5.5 inches wide. So I ought to be able to um, close up all of my gable ends and whatnot. Alright, so uh, time to go roll out the tools. This is another item I'm going to need to fire up pretty soon. It's getting ready to be that time of year where I've got to mow twice a week. And the other thing I really want to dig out is my airplane. I'm pretty much jonesing to go fly. Battery's still good. Let's see. Yep. Battery's still good. Alrighty, back to it. Took a couple hour break there from working to get the golf cart running with Jared. He came by to drop some tools off and we beat on the starter. It, it wouldn't run after, uh, because when I was on, uh, when I was in Afghanistan, uh, the thing just sat and never ran. So it needed some help, but it's going now. So that'll help out around here a little bit running back and forth to the hangar to get supplies and tools and whatever. Okay, back to the order at hand here. Well, I just got my vent louver, my louver opener vent opener things. Little hydraulic cylinders. I'll deal with that later. Right now I'm building workbench. Okay, the framework is in for the rest of the workbenches now just to sheet it up. And I could, you know, put in some blocks this direction and just run them as boards, but, you know, I like the craftsmanship of this and it gives me more areas for, for drainage and ventilation and whatever. I just kind of like taking the hard road sometimes. Yeah, I'm out of 2 by 10s uh, but at least I can frame in for the sink later. So on to hmm, maybe covering this guy up, and then I'll go to the gables. Okay, the end is closed off. Oh, wow. I wonder if my door still closes. <laughs> I had a little framework. Oh. Okay, this still works. Got to deal with that weather stripping on the bottom. It's catching on the boards. Yeah, I just unboxed the Univent. It came with very confusing instructions for such a uh, simple device. I didn't even read them. I just kind of looked at it and put it together. But uh, basically there's a cylinder here. 
and when it gets warm it expands and opens the window. We'll see if they close tonight. Because I've got my roofing material overlapping, this one needs to open first or higher. So I've adjusted it. You just turn them and you can see it coming down. And I'll tighten it back up and that'll raise it up. So hopefully this one will be tuned a little higher. And we'll see how this goes tonight. Incidentally, I ordered them on Amazon. Two of them with delivery was about a hundred bucks. And these are the ones that lift 16 pounds. I was a little leery, but uh, they seem to be doing it. We'll see what happens. Gable closed off. Uh, it's cooling off and so these vents are closing which is really cool. It's still kind of warm out here, but we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. A stash of corbels that I made for other projects here. And I don't know if there's enough here to cut away, but uh, mm, I'm gonna give it a try. I have ample windows if I ever break one or whatever. And I had these from another project, um, but I, I want to use them in my porch. So, for another day. As I held it in place, and I just kind of, with my pencil and my finger, just marked an outline. And then I eyeballed and transferred it over to the edge here, and made the cut. And because it was at such a weird angle, I backed it up with a scrap piece of wood so it wouldn't go flying forward. And now, I'm wondering if it'll fit. It's looking good. Oh, sorry. Wow. Two fits. That looks kind of cool. All right, I'm gonna have to get some bolts and drill it because it's a structural support here for this beam. I removed the uh, little temporary block I had in here. All right, next. Put it in place with some finish nails just to hold it while I do the drilling and bolting and all that. Let's see, that looks cute, okay. I got this uh, portion of it closed in now and uh, my little openers have closed. It looks pretty decent from the inside. A couple of real custom cuts up there. Well, it's time to put the tools away. Oy. I don't know. I make these videos for friends and relatives and uh, so if it's a little too descriptive or I reiterate too many times, well, I guess you're just going to have to uh, live with it. <laughs> oh, God. Now, as some of you may not know, I had back surgery and a broken hip up until about I started this. This was my uh, welcome back to working project around the house. So, just to reiterate, <laughs> today I finished this end wall here, did up here, put in the automatic closers, did that end wall, framed in the benches, got as much in as I could. Um, that about covers it and, you know, made a Home Depot run. Got kind of a late start up here. I put that end piece on. I put the uh, the brace on with bolts, and that's about it. It's been a long day. It's time for a Corona, I would say. All right. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and I hope this 
doesn't bore you too much, uh, all of my silly little videos, but uh, anyway, I, I try and make it informative, but it's probably not so informative. It's just to let my family know what I'm doing. Boy, it's nice living on an airport. If you like airplane noise, you probably can't see that guy taking off. Let's see, come on, where are you? There he goes. Anyway, all right, until next time.